What is up, Jamie? This is Jamira Fan 2000 with yet another unboxing video of Automaton here on the Jamira Fan 2000 YouTube channel. And you might consider this an unofficial Automaton release week here in the United States. As me and some of our other American fans uh, noticed late last week that some of the online U.S. retailers had updated their retail listings for Automaton, and in some cases, some store chains carrying it that don't regularly usually carry it, like Target and Walmart having listings for Automaton on the websites. It was absolutely amazing. So, uh, yeah, the, the album is... I have checked with my local indie stores, and uh, apparently half of them will be receiving Automaton this week here in the United States. But, uh, like my friend John uh, J. Grizz went and got his copy from Walmart, it appears that some of the Automaton releases coming in the United States are imports from Malaysia, which is kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, uh, the uh, the indie stores... Uh, I did talk to somebody at one of my local indie stores here in the United States, here in Virginia, called Plan 9 Records. And they said that the U.S. release is Mar May 26, 2017, and that they have the album in stock and will it be available tomorrow um, in their stores. But I did ask the person at Plan 9 if the, uh, their copies of Automaton had that weird-looking Malaysian sticker that had appeared on my friend's copy of Automaton. And he told me, uh, no, it's, um, it's, uh, it, it's a normal copy of the album, so I'm guessing they got, US, they got UK imports of the album. But yes, I received my Automaton from Walmart today. Day, um, and they are offering it currently with free two-day shipping with a price of about eleven to twelve dollars, which is very, very reasonable for a Jamaic Y album. And given and this what was very interesting about the Walmart listing of a Tom Tom on their website was usually some big box stores like Target and Walmart, um, when they have low stocks of specific products or services, what they usually do, especially only here probably it's only an American thing, what they do is they end up putting listings for resellers for specific items. And I noticed, specifically noted this being very popular when they Nintendo released the um, that mini NES uh, classic edition. And what happens is it became so hard to find that they ended up putting reseller listings for these systems on their websites, which is practically unheard of here in the United States. But it became pretty much a new normal now, especially with Amazon doing it heavily on a lot of high-profile releases. But let's crack this open. Um, this was, as I said, $12. Um, from Walmart with free two-day shipping to pick up in the store. I recommend you do the, do the pickup at your local Walmart rather than uh, paying the... If you get it shipped to you, it's going to cost an extra $5.99 to $6.99. So you'll be paying $17 to $18 in the end when you have this mail... Um, has this shipped to your home. So, uh, yeah, and the weird thing is, uh, much like my friend Jay Gris got his copy from Automaton from Walmart, I got mine from Walmart, too. And it's got that weird freaking sticker on it. If you can see it right there, it's got a hologram on the right side of it. It says original. And yes, I'll give you an even closer close up of it. That's very interesting. So they are getting Malaysian imports of Automaton. And this is not this is not something new. This is something that's happened in the past. Um, I remember when I frequented there's a there was a popular record store chain back in the 90s called Tower Records that was really popular. Well they um Sometimes some European record labels would actually import album releases, excuse me, from other, uh, from Southeast Asian distributors and then the release to the United States. I guess that's a way of saving money or their overhead, to save money on their overhead. But yeah, they would do that with like European singles and album releases, especially uh, international ones that weren't readily available. If they didn't have distribution in the United States, they do distribution for Southeast Asia, which Southeast Asia is a major hub for consumer products and releases and distribution so makes sense it kind of weird to see that here but uh yeah and uh, it's your basic uh it's your basic cd release it's your basic cd release it's almost identical to the standard japanese release of automaton which i have right here so we can compare them um it's but this was like remember when i did the boxing video for the japanese release it was like 30 something dollars so uh just compare the two compared to two side by side. Pretty much the same release. Identical release. The only difference being the uh, in the sticker from Malaysia. But uh, yeah, the track listing on the Malaysian is, of course, the same 12 tracks. It's no bonus track of nice and spicy like in the Japanese release. Because if you look at the Japanese release, oh, let me get a little close up there. You see nice and spicy, the bonus track for Japan. So yeah, pretty much identical. Identical releases. But it's really cool to see them releasing Automaton here in the United States. And you might remember that uh, I reported that this was supposed to be out April 7th. 
a week after the European and Asian release, release on May 31st. So their supply was apparently very low because Automaton went went uh, to number one in over 60 European nations, which was amazing and unheard of. This is the best-selling Jamiroquai album, at least in in the short term rather than the long term, uh, in a long, long time. Probably since a funk odyssey, I would say. But uh, yeah, it's here in the United States now. And this is currently, this will be coming out Friday in indie record stores, and apparently it's already available for online orders. Must note, the Target listings for automaton they are only they are only available for online orders they are not available for they're not going to be sold in stores let's put it that way so some store chains here in the united states that are carrying automaton are only making it available through online orders so if you do order through target you'll only be able to get it mailed to your home or you might be able to pick it up at store it varies on what target store you frequent in your local area so yeah it is available through amazon it is available through walmart which is just blows my mind it, this this is bizarre this this is one of those rare anomalies in generic wide release sales where a u.s release with a malaysian sticker Whatever, it's still it's still automaton being out here in the US. But yeah, it's available through Walmart, it's available through Target, it's available through Best Buy, it's available through Amazon. So wherever you frequent, you want to buy the album, it is available now for a very, very good price. Uh, so uh, Walmart being the best deal right now for $11, 12 dollars for two days of free shipping at your to be picked up at your local Walmart store. So I'm not trying to sound like a promotional commercial, but I'm just trying to pass on the information for all my fellow Jamiroquai fans who haven't got a chance to buy the album yet. You can buy it now, and of course, Amazon has the digital has the digital release, and some of the other re retailers I know have the digital release of Automaton, so you can buy track by track for between a dollar to a dollar twenty nine per track, or you can buy the whole album for under ten bucks for digital. So very cool. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to pass on that information to all of you who are one who all my fellow American Jamiroquai fans who have not bought Automaton and pulled it out from not paying the extra money to get the import copy. But yeah, there you go. You got the American Malaysian <laughs> release, and you've got the, of course, like I did the video about board, the Japanese standard release. So yeah, that's it for right now. Um, I will be um, I will be doing some more, uh, hopefully be doing some more video series here on the channel uh, as well. But I hope you enjoyed all these unboxing videos here on the Jamiroquai 2000 YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully by 2018 when Jamiroquai hopefully comes over to the United States and things are calmed down over here. Uh, they might do an official release of Automaton, but for right now, Automaton is being released, uh, imports, they're all imports right now, so no domestic release US made CDs yet, but that's about it for this video right now, and I'll see you again really soon here on the Jumeric Fan 2000 YouTube channel with more Jumeric Y Minutes, more Jumeric Fan Talks About, and more Jumeric Y related videos. Have a great week everybody, bye bye.